Hello everyone. So today we'll be discussing about the sustained attention and the factors that are affecting the sustained attention. So firstly, let us understand what is sustained attention. It is the ability to be able to focus on one specific task for a continuous amount of time without getting distracted. So essentially, sustained attention is mainly concerned with concentration, you know, where you can continue to maintain that concentration, you can continue to maintain that attention on that object or for that matter, that event for the longest duration of time. And it's all about, you know, vigilance, how vigilant, how alert are you, basically. And many a times it happens that, you know, uh, we have to concentrate on a particular task, you know, for longer period of time, for many, many hours, you know. And we do have examples like, uh, suppose it's about listening to a lecture, it's about reading a book, it's about playing a video, it's about even fixing a car. Or for that matter, even when you have to read a newspaper article, literally you have to pay that kind of uh, concentration, you need to be so focused. And at times, tasks, they, they demand more time from us. And that time, those longer duration of time, those continuous hours are what we are able to give only when we have this kind of a sustained attention, which is all about concentration, which is all about focus, you know. And of course, when we talk about its uh, factors, so to say, we do have uh, certain factors as well, which, uh, you know, we will be discussing. And uh, so we do have these factors like uh, we have the sensory modality, we have the clarity of stimuli, we have the temporal uncertainty, and of course, the spatial uncertainty, you know. And uh, so coming to the first one, where we talk about the sensory modality, you know, uh, this is a very, very important factor because here we will be able to maintain that sustained attention when uh, we do have uh, mostly the auditory, uh, 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 auditory uh, stimuli uh, rather than the visual stimuli, you know. So our sustained attention is going to be facilitated. It's going to be much better when we do have the auditory stimuli. It's going to help us concentrate. It is going to help us focus on the task, on the object, or for that matter, on the event for longer duration of time, you know, when it is to do with an auditory stimuli rather than uh, the, the visual ones. So auditory stimuli for sustained attention are more catchy, you know. We will be able to maintain our attention when it is in case of auditory, you know, uh, other than visual. So it's better in case of auditory other than the visual stimuli. When we talk about the clarity of stimuli, definitely um, when you have uh, very intense stimuli, when you have very long lasting stimuli, uh, it is going to help us maintain that sustained attention, which is all about maintaining concentration, maintaining focus for longer hours of time, you know, and it's going to help us in uh, giving our best also. So, of course, intense and uh, literally uh, long lasting that's going to stay for long and uh, something that's going to impact us. That's what is the meaning of long lasting. A stimuli that can really leave its impact on us and something that's that's really intense, that, that really uh, leaves a mark, you know, that's, that's something, uh, something very, very impactful, something huge, you know. Um, so that kind of stimuli, definitely very intense and long lasting can really uh, help me facilitate my own sustained attention. So that's what is there in clarity of stimuli because it's going to make it very, very clear. When we have the temporal uncertainty, of course, when you have the stimuli that it does appear at uh, regular intervals of time, they will always be attended better than when... Uh, they appear at very, very irregular intervals of time. 
so uh, regular intervals of time would mean you are mentally also prepared in a way that now it's going to come now it's going to start you know because it does have uh, probably the same time period the occurrence of stimuli does show the same time period the same intervals in between you know and it's not something irregular so this makes us mentally also ready prepared for it and we do show that kind of alertness we do show that kind of readiness for it that kind of uh, acceptance and eagerness for it because we know that stimuli is appearing at the fixed uh, interval of time so that makes us even more mentally prepared and quite uh, ready and eager for it you know so that will always help us to facilitate our sustained attention in a much better way uh, rather than when a stimuli is appearing at a very irregular uh, time interval then of course uh, when we have the spatial uncertainty it's it's got to do with of course uh, you know how is the stimuli placed you know so it's all about uh, you know our visualization it's all about how uh, uh, to understand you know how and where is the stimuli placed exactly you know so uh, basically here of course so uh, when the stimuli is going to appear at a very fixed place it's going to be readily attended than those that are appearing at uh, ra random locations you know and of course uh, random locations uh, again um, they could be very abrupt you know and very random actually uh, for the stimuli to appear uh, and very abruptly they would appear but when they when they do have a fixed place then uh, it 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 makes us uh, quite uh, uh ready it makes us quite eager and inquisitive to be able to pay attention you know to the stimuli so once again um it 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 does create that kind of uh, eagerness that kind of wait that kind of readiness in us you know that kind of interest in us uh when it is to do with uh, you know stimuli appearing at fixed places rather than random locations you know so this was all about the factors affecting the sustained attention where we have discussed about the factors and of course the meaning of uh, sustained attention and there are in total four factors and um, it's quite different from uh, the selective attention and of course factors are also different but that's what makes it makes it uh, entirely to do with the being able to concentrate for longer duration of time so this was about it thank you so much